Hello, Hermit Veterans. I remember you. This is where I was wanting to leave off. This was my next place I was planning on building. Let's go to some place I haven't shown you guys. Okay. Let's warp and let's go to Plaza. Welcome to Plaza, guys. Um, as you can tell, I can go uh, game modes. Let's go to creative. Creative. This was the Plaza District on uh, Hermit Veterans. Just kind of wanted to show you guys this because I worked on this a little bit. I played around with it a little bit and just kind of wanted to talk to you guys while I was here. This was one of the ideas that we had on Hermit Veterans to kind of revitalize um, the game, our, our server, was to go and make this area where people could play games and that kind of thing. And for whatever reason, it, it didn't happen. I really enjoy it. Like, so if you've seen kind of what I've done on my, um, on, if you've seen, if you guys have seen what I've done on the latest server on a uh, lunar, I've kind of done this sort of thing with the creeks and all that kind of thing. And this is kind of what I'm going for, but uh, kind of want to show you what I did here on this so I can kind of close this up. And so that's kind of what this video is going to be about. I'm kind of... Oh yeah. Hey guys, it's Floki and welcome to another day on the Hermit Veteran server. Um, this is going to be kind of my finale video on this server. I'm not going to be like Iskal who just leaves or, you know, Mumbo who just, you know, gives up and doesn't come back. Or maybe he does. I don't know. But, um, this is, I mean, it's, it's a sad day. I will say that much. I absolutely love playing on this server, but, um, circumstances the way they are now where basically there's nobody on this server or I mean, people play occasionally, but the player base isn't there anymore. I And when I've talked about changing things, I've gotten dull stares. So I'm kind of interested in moving on. I'm sorry, but I think we need to see different servers. <laughs> oh, this is a little dark. Anyways, so this is a build, I mean, obviously in creative here in Plaza, because this, is, this was a creator build sort of thing that was meant to be dropped in. Um, this is the mansion, which was a game that we created. I absolutely love doing this build. I had so much fun doing this build. This brought out so much in me. The exterior of this whole thing was done by Iron62. Um, he's a kid. He did a, he did a fantastic job on this. I haven't seen, I haven't talked to him in months. Um, real sad in that respect. Kind of once he left, uh, things kind of really slowed down. Um, but yeah, um, the way, the whole idea of this was you come up here, you push the button that breaks this and then you'll fall into this game. It was supposed to be kind of like a seek and search game and there were little, yeah, so I did all the interior on this and made all the games that are in, or the game that's associated in here. Uh, it was, you know, a seek and find game or I don't know what you want to call it. You look for all the keys or something like that. So I had a lot of fun building the decor in this and man, if only I had you know, the, um, the statues mod in this, it could have been so much cooler. And, and that's one of the things that really kind of, I don't know, pushed me is, you know, I asked for that and getting the statues mod because we've had that on block hermit and, but it, it didn't work with having the grief prevention plugin. So we couldn't do it. And I'm like, who's actually going to read the book? or actually know that there's a book even in do it what kids are really going to go and mess with that and i don't know it didn't work but on lunar we we have the statues mod and it's like the great i, I love it i love it i love it and it, there's so much potential that comes with it anyways anyways um 
So this was, so we had different rooms, different places down here where you go and search for keys. Um, this was, you know, the, this is one, this is like a little barrel room. We got wine barrels down here and all of this. And it looks like, yeah, there should be a bartender in here or something like that. And I could even, if I wanted to spawn a villager in here and it would feel like there's a bartender. That's what I like about the, the, um, oh, whatever the heck these are called. The, uh, what are these? Bees wax blocks. They kind of look like you put wine bottles in them. I don't know. It's, it's a nice look. I've, I've used that on some other builds. If you couldn't tell, guys, this is going to be kind of a relaxed video. We're going to kind of go through this and reminisce a little bit and kind of talk about it. And I know only maybe five or ten of you guys are going to watch this. And the Lunar guys probably are going to find this unappealing, but I'm going to go and record it anyways, because I feel like I need to document kind of my, my my ending here. And this is like one of the builds that I had never talked about and absolutely loved. So you take it for what it is. Anyways, so then across here was like a boiler room and I had so much fun playing around with like the copper uh, lightning rods and the end rods in here and everything with piping and all that and playing around with ambiance with like the campfire smoke and all that it was a lot of fun I think if I remember right the if you looked in here I think was where the key was I don't know something like that it was a lot of fun so see I, I built this a couple a few months ago so I barely even remember where the heck everything was to tell you the truth um Oh, that's right. Back in here was like a storage room with the ice and all that. Yeah, the closest thing I can do to invisible item frames, of course, is using the uh, campfires that are put out. So, yeah. So, yeah, different stacks, a couple little farms kind of hidden back in here is the idea. And it, you had to go and search through and find the barrel that had the whatever food item then you would put into this thing up here and that's how you get it so then after you do that that takes you up to the second level up here which i'll go and just just a hack by uh let's get me a lever here because this obviously is not going to happen because i built it several months ago and uh, we never made it happen whatever so yeah, cute little garden room, and then this in here, I love this, this was a little redstone build, you had to go and do a little dance in here, if you did the little dance, then you would get, it, you would get the key to it, it was a fun little redstone build, I don't know, I can't even do it now, because, yeah, oh that's right, Maybe I guess you had to play, play the song, you had to go and find the disc, and then play the song on this, big this piano so it's supposed to look like a uh not a piano uh organ it's supposed to look like an organ if you guys got a better idea of doing an organ let me know maybe you could do it with reeds i don't know or not reeds where the heck are they called sugar cane you do a sugar cane so yeah again this could look better if i had some armor stands you can play around with it but uh a uh, little kitchen i don't think i did this kitchen i think iron 62 did the kitchen um, pig's head, that's a little bit gruesome, but okay, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, dining, little, yeah, kind of a dining room area, plates and all that, I thought this was nice. One of my favorite things still is you waterlog a, uh, I think that would be a stair block, and then you can actually put a, a dead coral on it, it looks like a basket of some kind, nice little fun detail. If I remember right, well, I remember what's over here. Oh, yeah, this is the lounge with a pool table and, yeah, had things up on here, heads and that kind of thing. And then, like, a bar sort of area. Loved it, loved it, loved it. It was so pretty. I loved it. But uh, nobody has really seen this aside from me and Tib. Um, Tib actually kind of played through the game a little bit. But... Um, you know, he had his thoughts, because I was saying we need, like, a, you know, some command blocks to kind of do some of this stuff, to go and reset the game, reset the area every time. Oh, here's, like, a little library or study area with a little tiny greenhouse area. Absolutely love this. I would so love to go and do some more, like, creative building like this, you know, where you've got infinite, just to go and be able to play around. It's it's fun what you can kind of do. I mean, it's, it's, it's liberating. It's absolutely liberating to be able to do that. Yeah, I think if I remember right in this, 
You had to do, yeah, you, have to, you had to go to the second page, and then the, uh, the book was the key. You would get the key. Yeah, that was your key to go and put in. And then here was the main front room. I love making the carpets. Looks like a uh, oriental rug if you go and use, like, pretty much any of the um, glazed terracotta. They look like a oriental, oriental rug if you do it right. And that takes you up here then until to the real library, the main library. I guess that was more of a study down there. This is the library down here that was decorated. And again, loving whatever the heck this wood is, warped something wood. Uh, it has this look like kind of like a, I don't know, like a gothic wallpaper or something like that. It looks spooky. It's fun. It's spooky. And then, uh, yeah, we had two different doors that would open up once you get all your keys. See that? That's why that's there. Again, yeah, so if you go and kind of do a mix here, it looks like this, again, this kind of like uh, gothic or Victorian wallpaper. It's fun. And then over in here uh, was a little garden room. Really fun. I don't know. It was nice. Um, composters and some, yeah. Yeah, this was, I thought this was really cute. But again, if I didn't see this... And it probably sounds like I'm, feels like I'm rambling. I don't know. Oh, the kids' room. The kids' room. I love the kids' room so much. So the one use, the one use of the red mushroom block, it looks like a cute little kid's lamp. It's so sweet. Yeah, so I had like a little train in here. And, uh, yeah, what was it? There was a little train and toys and kids' crap in here. And, yeah, a little kid's toy house. Yeah, this is fun. Yeah, can you tell this is supposed to look like one of those little crossing gate things? It's a little oversized, but you don't know, like, like, ding, 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 ding. Yeah, yeah, and this is like a little uh, jack-in-the-box, I think. Sorry, Egg, did not mean to break you. Uh, there was a way. Yeah, that's right. If you do that, yep. If you do the, the jack-in-the-box, then it, it, the key sends out. And as you can see, it's like a jack, right? Because it's, it's one of those. I guess I'll put you back. Okay, and then if I go over here, go to this side. If I remember right, yeah, there was like the bathroom sort of area where we got like a tub over here. Man, I should have put, um, you know what I should have done is the uh, magma blocks, but that probably is going to mess up some whatever the heck is underneath it. 99% chance. Or it just won't even bubble at all. Pfft, fail. Yeah, so there was that, and there was like a shower, and then like this was like, yeah, this is a little sauna over here. I love the effect. It, it's amazing. And yeah, if you search through here, you'll eventually find the key. The key is in one of these... To, to this one and I think yeah there was a little toilet over here this reminds me of my, my aunt and uncle have like a gold like a bronze-ish toilet if I remember right they live in the in downtown the city uh, and a shower of course again I can't remember these might have given you something I don't know towels of course green towels to go with everything and then I think that the last room that I had in all this yeah it was like the main uh, bedroom and beautiful feel. Again, I, I love what you can go and do when you can uh, actually be creative and kind of play around with textures and different colors and stuff. Really fun. And that, that's kind of where, you know, things have almost kind of sort of gotten to uh, on the new server on Lunar is that I can go and get a lot more blocks a lot more easily than I normally would. But uh, I don't know, guys. Wow, it's dark. <laughs> Sorry, this is going to be a little bit more relaxed than I normally would. There we go. Now you can see me, right? So, I just kind of wanted to say my kind of final goodbyes to uh, the Hermit Veteran server and to all the guys that I've known since um, Block Hermit. I mean, it's been four years now playing with you guys, kind of on and off. Um, you know, Tib and Iron62 and Karma and Louie. Louie, where are you, Louie? And, um, you know, Lamp, you guys were all awesome, and I don't know if you guys have moved on to different servers, 
or just like Minecraft is just like done for you guys. So, um, I don't know what to say. It's kind of a sad day, and if you guys are still around, I'm over on the Lunar SMP. It's been, it's been like Block Hermit was, you know, actually having people on the server, actually having events, and actually an active team. So, I, 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 I miss you guys, and I'm, I'm sorry to say that this is it for me. I've kind of done what I can here, and I'm kind of tired of being alone. So I enjoyed our time and hopefully I'll see you guys on the other side. Bye.